an eye with pupil which dilates only to about 4 to 5 millimeters and has an IFIS is being operated. There is a sponge with soaked in tropicamide and phenylephrine placed at the opposite limbus. A tunnel is created, hemostasis is achieved. A 6 millimeter by about 2.5 millimeter sclerolimbal corneal tunnel is prepared in the upper temporal quadrant of the right eye. The plan is to do the tunnel floor entry so that a small incision is made in the internal opening of the tunnel. The uh, cystitum is taken through the floor of the tunnel so that the visco that is in the anterior chamber is trapped inside. It doesn't leak, doesn't shallow the chamber during rexis. Rexis is made as big as it's possible, parallel to the pupil and little beyond the pupil. It could be completed uh, in one go. This amount of uh, rexis is adequate to perform the surgery as it's a uh, soft nucleus. This is the 1% ignocaine that's infused on the surface of iris. The surgery is being done under topical and intracameral anesthesia. One point hydrodissection using the special cannula. Hydrodissection separating the capsule and the cortex is of paramount importance in these difficult cases so that cortical aspiration becomes easier. The nucleus is rotated into the anterior chamber. There is no traction on the zonules at any point of time. It's bisected now and every uh, the each uh, heminucleus is extracted from the eye by viscodissection. It's supported and the visco is injected in front and the nucleus comes out by positive pressure in the anterior chamber and uh, dragging of the uh, uh, wire vectors. The uh, epinuclear uh, masses pieces are uh, extracted by visco expression. Cortical aspiration is extremely easy because of uh, the hydro dissection that separated the cortex from the capsule. Polish the posterior capsule and put a lens. There is no need to fold the lens because the incision is of adequate size. This keeps the quality of optics to the highest possible extent. The eye wall is put inside the capsular bag. It's uh, uh, vis visually monitored and aspirate the entire uh, debris from the anterior chamber and uh, visco from behind the lens and from the anterior uh, lens surface and on the back of the cornea. At the end of surgery, the pressure uh, is attained by check the pressure there and put a drop of powdered in and then put a drop of uh, fibrin glue to close the tunnel. There is no other opening in the eye and the only opening that is there in the upper temporal quadrant is closed uh, with fibrin glue. Uh, the eye does not need bandaging and the patient can start using the eye immediately. Endothelium is maximally protected as adrenaline is not used in the anterior chamber. Thank you.